All right, good morning, everyone. My name is Sydney. I am 24 years old. I am originally from New York, and I have been living and teaching in New Taipei City, Taiwan for nine months now. Um, now, as you can see, uh, it is very early in the morning here. Uh, it is a little before 6 a.m. Wednesday morning. I am usually up this early because I do try and go to the gym every morning before I start my school day. But before I go to the gym, I'm going to show you guys a little bit of my apartment. So I live in a teeny tiny studio um, here in New Taipei City. I live in a district called Xingchuang, um, and this is what my apartment looks like. So we can start over here. So this is my apartment. Here we have my little living space. The apartment did come with this couch. It came with this table. Um, I actually bought these little green pillows from Ikea, and I brought the rug from Ikea as well. Coming over to the left is where I have any personal items, and I've got little storage in here where I keep my, you know, socks, shirts, towels, things like that. To the left is where I have my quote-unquote bedroom area. So I've got my little pillows, my blanket, um, any throws, my onesie, some more stuff over here. The apartment did come furnished with the bed, and I actually bought the blanket and the pillowcases myself. And moving right along to the right, as we enter more of the living space slash kitchen, um, I've got my AC over here. I did laundry about two days ago, so my towels and things are drying up here. Um, most apartments in Taiwan do not come with dryers, so whenever I do laundry, I just hang my things here to dry. I've got my TV there. Um, this came with the apartment, as did the little table. To the left, I've got my little kitchen area. The apartment did obviously come with a hot plate, built-in sink, and a little mini fridge, and this cute little stool. Um, I did end up buying myself a toaster oven and another hot plate myself. And everything you see over here, obviously seasonings, cheese grater, ketchup, whatever else, I purchased myself as well. All right, and moving on over to the right, um, the apartment did come with this little table and this little chair as well. This is kind of where I keep, you know, pots, pans, strainers, um, my cereal, um, laundry detergent, things like that. So that's all over here. My little trash can, my little um, broom and dust pan. Over here is my closet. Um, that does come with two drawers. Up here is where I keep my suitcases. And as we come over here, this is my bathroom. So the washing machine is here, shower is here, sink and things is here. As you can see, my teeny tiny studio is very small, but I love it. So now that I've showed you guys a little bit of my apartment, it's time for me to go to the gym. Um, and as I do that, I will post a little teeny tiny question box here so you guys can ask me anything your heart desires and I will do my best to answer every single question that you have. Okay, so as I mentioned, I am headed to the gym. Um, my gym is actually only about a five minute walk from my apartment, which is why I'm able to just get up really early in the morning and go whenever I can. And my school is actually only about a 10 minute walk from my apartment too. So everything that I need is pretty close to me, which is really nice and convenient. Okay, I'm back. So um, just a quick note about my school before I start getting into some of the questions that you guys asked in the little box. Um, I am teaching at a cram school. My school is called Annie's English School. Um, Annie's has about seven or eight different locations throughout New Taipei, Taipei, and Taoyuan City. And all three of those cities are in, located in the northern part of Taiwan know about my day today so today is wednesday it is almost 7 30 a.m um, my school day starts from 8 30 a.m and ends at 5 p.m um today i am teaching my kids all day which is why it might be a little bit busy for me today um i teach kindergarten and all of my kids are between five and six years old and i've got 21 of them i actually found my school through a recruiter from a company called reach to teach recruiting 
are actually my top three favorite things about working with reach to teach one their service is completely free Two, communication between my recruiter and my school was very easy since they have a very close relationship and three my recruiter has actually been living in taiwan for the last 13 years so she was able to give me lots of tips and tricks before i flew over that's a great question um i do plan my own lessons but there is a laid out curriculum for me to follow so as long as i follow the curriculum the lesson planning should be pretty straight as you can see I pretty much have no hair <laughs> um, so I don't really need a ton of hair products but um, the black community here in Taipei is actually quite large so if you do need products you can find them So I do not actually speak any Mandarin um, and it's actually not too difficult to get by without knowing any. Um, surprisingly where I live a lot of people speak English so I'm pretty much good to go on that front. Obviously I do obviously highly recommend trying to learn. Um, I do plan on trying to learn at some point. Um, I'm just still kind of getting a little bit more acclimated to my surroundings and getting used to living here and things like that but once I am a little bit more settled then I do plan on actually making an honest effort to learn the language so I can fully appreciate the people and the culture. So this is a great question. Um, the quickest answer I can honestly give you as to why I chose Taiwan is research. Research, 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 research. The internet is your friend. To go into more detail, before I did come to Taiwan and before I actually interviewed for the positions in Taiwan, I did have one interview for South Korea, one for China, and two for Japan. Um, and that was after doing my research on those countries as well. When I did my research on Taiwan and I read about the cost of living and how cheap it was, when I read about the weather, when I read about how close it was to China for travel and other parts of Asia, and honestly how small it is, I loved it. So I figured, okay, well, that's where I should be. Okay, so I think my top three favorite things about living in Taiwan, number one, um, the weather. <clears throat> number two, being able to afford living on my own. And number three, just the easy way of life. As I said, I am from New York and I did go to college in Philadelphia for four years and I lived there for about a year and a half after I graduated. So I'm born, raised and bred in the northeast part of the United States where it gets freezing in the wintertime. So the fact that the winters here are, they, they can get cold, but they're more mild. There's no snow, there's no putting down ice, there's no sleet, nothing crazy like that. The only downside about the weather here is that when it does get cold, um, you do have to dress warm or maybe get a space heater because there are actually no heaters in apartments here because it is pretty mild for most of the year in terms of the weather and i mentioned that you know living here is easy that there's an easy way of life um, i mean that i feel safe i don't feel like i'm ever really in danger um i feel like i can just go about my day live my life walk at my own pace no one's going to shout at me in the street no one's going to cat call me no one's going to heckle me you know i'm not going to get robbed i'm not going to get beaten up um everything here makes sense it's a nice calm uniform respectful society living here in taiwan and i think that's the biggest thing that i appreciate most about it so um to quickly note taiwan was never on lockdown or quarantine for the coronavirus taiwan took action very early after the chinese new year in january they closed public schools for two weeks and that prevented a lot of the spread throughout the country masks are required to be worn in schools in most places of work and on all forms of public transportation so i'm telling you as someone who lives in a in an essentially covid free society masks work taiwan has not had a locally transmitted case of covid 19 in over 200 days so i'm telling you it works so masks work as someone who works with five-year-old kids every day and has not gotten sick once masks work Oh, sis. Okay. <laughs> to keep it short, um, I feel good. 
um, black girl magic still reigns in Asia. And that's all I'll say. <laughs> And just to expand on this a little bit i did actually write an article about this for ita so if you go on ita's website and search my name you should find the article it should pop right up um and that should answer any questions that you might have because honestly i could go on and on about being black in asia but the article should speak for itself so please go and check it out and read it i right, can everyone say happy halloween ready one two three Yay! As I did mention earlier, I teach at a cram school. The cram school is here in New Taipei City. Um, I think I did mention that I do have 21, 5, and 6 year old students. The curriculum I teach is called Calvert, um, and Calvert has ELA, Science, and Social Studies as three subjects. In addition to that, I also teach a phonics book. I teach something called STEAM, which is a separate science curriculum. And I'm also teaching them a play for the 2021 kindergarten graduation. Year long. So my kindergartners had no summer break. Kindy teachers had no summer break. Um, it might sound strange, but it's fine because Taiwan has lots of four day holidays, three day weekends, bank holidays, things like that. But please note that if one last quick note about cram schools, cram schools run all year long. Um, at least mine does. I did not have a summer break. It runs from January through December or whenever the school year starts. It runs all you do start at a cram school. You more than likely will be working all year round. So no summers off. I did not have any prior teaching experience. Um, I have a bachelor's of business administration with a concentration in human resource management and worked in HR for about two years after I graduated. So no prior experience. Okay, so this is probably one of the last ones I'll answer. Um, why I got into TEFL. One, corporate America life was really boring. And two, I discovered I had a passion for education.